Hi! Welcome to Come Along with Rabbi B. I'm so glad you're here. You know, we're going to have a lot of fun today singing songs and playing music. Come to think of it, I think I hear some music right now. I can hear a guitar, only I'm not playing the guitar. I wonder who could be playing the guitar. Oh, it's Devora the Bee. Hi, Devora. We were wondering who's playing my guitar. Hmm, Devora, do you like playing the guitar? Yeah, what do you like about it? Oh, Devora likes that a guitar is a string instrument. Well, Devora, I'm about to go to the music store. Would you like me to rent a musical instrument for you? Mm-hmm. Would you like me to rent you some drums? No, no drums. They don't have strings. What about a trumpet? <laughs> no, a trumpet doesn't have strings either. I know. What if I rented you a harp? That's right, a harp has lots and lots of strings, much more than a guitar. Okay, Devora, I'll go to the music store and I'll rent a harp just for you, so you can try it and play it and have fun. I'll be right back. You can keep playing my guitar if you like. Okay, and we'll see you at the music store. So why don't you come along with Rabbi B. Come along, come along, come along right now We'll sing together, I'll show you how Come along, come along, come along with me Come along with Rabbi B Come along, come along, come along right now We'll sing together, I'll show you how Come along, come along, come along with me Come along with Rabbi B Say Moda'ani with the morning sun Get into the mood and join the fun Let's thank Hashem for everything Dance around with that Simcha feeling Come along, come along, come along right now We'll sing together, I'll show you how Come along, come along, come along with me Come along with Rabbi B Come along with Rabbi B. Come along with Rabbi B. Hey, Rabbi B. Hey, Dave, how you doing? Good, nice Good. to see you. Thank you so much. No problem. Welcome to Long McQuaid. Uh, what brings you in today? Well, um, we've been learning about musical instruments, and uh, we're looking for string instruments, kind of like guitars or harps. Okay. Well, uh, feel free to take a look around uh, and uh, ask, let me know if you have any questions. Have fun. All right. Thanks so much. No worries. Great. You probably know how much I love visiting music stores. I really enjoy music, and this is where it all begins. There are so many kinds of musical instruments that you can play, and a music store has a lot of them. Some musical instruments are played with your mouth, like these saxophones. They are part of the musical instrument family called brass instruments. So are French horns, trumpets, trombones, and tubas. These are flutes. They are played by blowing into them. And up there are some clarinets. And look at this long bassoon. Wow, you must be very tall if you want to play this one. Another fun instrument that you can find at a music store are keyboards. They are electric pianos. Some music stores even let you try to play them. Music stores also have lots of drums. Here are some drum kits. That's a whole bunch of drums that work together. They also have a lot of cymbals. Cymbals make a crash sound. And these congas are a very fun kind of drum to play. 
other instruments use strings to make music. Here are some violins. They sure are pretty looking. This bigger violin is called a viola. But my favorite string instrument to look at in a music store is the guitar, of course. There are two kinds of guitars, acoustic, like these ones, and electric. Wow, look at this whole wall of electric guitars. Which one would you want to try? The acoustic guitars get their own special room. I think I'll try to play this blue one. Or maybe this banjo. Or how about this mandolin? Haha, <laughs> look at this funny smiley face ukulele. That's a small kind of guitar. But I think I found what I'm looking for. Do you see a yellow harp? That's just like the one David Hamelech played. This one has a lot of strings. Hey, Rabbi V, found hey. what you're looking for? I did. I found this beautiful harp, and I think I'd like to borrow it, please. Oh, sure thing. Let me bring that in for you. Right. All right. There you go, Rabbi V. There's your receipt. Thank you very much for shopping with us. Thank you very much. Right. Catch you later, Dave. Take Be care. well. Okay, Devora, I just got back from the music store and look what I got for you. This is a harp. That's right. Oh, and Devora knows the Hebrew word for a harp. It is called a nevel. Very good, Devora. A nevel is a harp. That's right. Well, let me put this harp right over here for you so you can have a try of it and see if you like how it sounds. Okay, Devora, give it a try. Ooh, that sounds really nice. Do you like that, Devora? Oh, great. Hey, you know what, Devora? This harp reminds me of a very special king, a king named David HaMelech. That's right. David HaMelech was a great Jewish king, and he played a nevel too. But in his day, the nevel was called a kinor. It was a little bit different, but King David played the nevel or the kinor, all the time. You know, that reminds me of a story I'd like to read for you. How about you keep trying the harp and I'm going to read a special story all about David HaMelech and his very special harp. Today's big comfy story is called David HaMelech and his harp. Because today we're talking about the harp as a musical instrument. Let's read together. King David, or David HaMelech, was one of the greatest kings of the Jewish people. You know, there's even a song about him. It goes, David Melech Yisrael, Chai Chai Vekayam. David Melech Yisrael, Chai Chai Vekayam. David Melech Yisrael, Chai Chai Vekayam. <laughs> Not only are there songs about him, but he wrote songs of his own, too. Those songs are called Tehillim. They are songs David wrote and sang for Hashem. In the Tehillim, David writes about all kinds of ways to sing and pray to Hashem. And many times, David HaMelech wrote about using musical instruments. One of David's favorite instruments to play was a harp. In David's day, a harp was called a kinor. There are many Tehillim songs that have the word kinor in them, and David would play his harp as he sang and prayed to Hashem. David would also use his harp to sing songs for Shaul HaMelech, who was the king before David. Whenever Shaul HaMelech would be feeling sad or angry, he would ask David to play some music for him, and the music would help King Shaul relax and calm down. Do you ever do that? Listen to music when you're feeling sad or angry to help you calm down? 
Or maybe you just listen to music when you need to relax. Great. Let's continue the story. Later, when David became the king, someone would play the harp for him. Do you know who? Hashem! That's right. David HaMelech wanted very badly to wake up every night at midnight so he could study Torah. However, in his days, there were no alarm clocks and the roosters didn't start crowing until sunrise. So how did David wake up every night at exactly midnight? Well, before he went to sleep, David HaMelech would place a harp next to an open window and at exactly midnight, Hashem made a special wind blow into David's window, and that wind would play the harp. The music would wake David up, and he would get up and begin learning Torah. Yes, David was a great musician, songwriter, and Torah learner. <laughs> oh, that's true, Devorah. Rabbi B is also a musician, songwriter, and Torah learner. But I'm no David HaMelech. <laughs> oh, I think I hear a sound. Do you know who that might be? <laughs> I think it's Kugel the robot. Let's go take a look. <laughs> oh, I knew it was Kugel the robot. Hello, Kugel. Hello, Rabbi B. How are you? I'm doing great, Baruch Hashem, thank you. Let me guess, do you have the question of the day today? Affirmative. All right, well let's play today's question of the day. Hi Rabbi, it's Abby, Fiona, and Leia. Are there any musical instruments in the Torah? Wow, that's a great question. I'm sure there's lots of musical instruments in the Torah, but I have a friend who can tell us for sure. Let's ask the Torah. <laughs> Torah, Torah. Hi. Hi. Great to see you, Torah. We have a question for you. Are there any musical instruments in the Torah? Sure. There are lots of musical instruments in me. When we came out of Egypt, Miriam, Moshe's sister, played a tambourine to celebrate their freedom. That is called a tof Miriam. Then, at Har Sinai, Hashem blew a great big shofar. There are even silver trumpets that were blown to tell the Jewish people it was time to travel when they lived in the desert. They were called chatzotros. And there are golden bells called pa'amonim that were put on the bottom of the Kohen Gadol's ephod robe. Wow, that's a whole bunch of instruments. Thanks, Torah. Toda. You're very welcome, Rabbi B. Fantastic. Rabbi B, would you like to play a game? I'd love to play a game. Just say, okay, Kugel. Let's play the musical instrument game. Okay. Okay, Kugel. Let's play the musical instrument game. Okay, Rabbi B. I will play the sound, and you have to guess which instrument is playing. Hmm. Sounds very familiar. Oh, I think I know. Kugel, is that a trumpet? That is correct. Ha <laughs> ha! All right, I'm ready for the next one. Here comes number two. Sounds very beautiful. Hmm. Oh, I think I know what that is. Do you know what it is? I think it's a piano. Is it a piano? That is correct. Ha <laughs> ha! Hooray! Here comes number three. All right, I'm ready. Let's listen. Do you know what it is? I sure do. It's my favorite instrument. Kugel, that is a guitar. That is correct. I knew it. All right. Here comes number four. Yep, I'm ready. Hmm. Hmm. That sounds different, but I think I know what it is. Do you know what it is? I think you do too. 
Kugel, is that the drums? That is correct. Fantastic. Here comes the last one. Oh, we got one more. Okay, here it comes. Hmm. Oh, that sounds a lot like the instrument Devorah and me were talking about. And I even went to the music store to go and see one. Kugel, is that a harp? That is correct. Wow. Game over. You got them all correct. Wow. What a great game. Thank you, Kugel. That was a lot of fun. You are welcome. You know what? I think we should play some music together. Let's bring our musical instruments and let's play in the Rabbi B musical band. But Rabbi B, what instrument will I play? Oh, well, you know what, Kugel? I could make a musical instrument just for you. I have a good craft idea. Kugel, why don't you stay here and I'll meet you in the arts and crafts room and I'll teach you how you could make your very own musical instrument. And then we're gonna play in the Rabbi B musical band. I'll see you there. You know, all this talk about musical instruments, Kugel really wants to play one too. So I told him I'd make him a musical instrument. And there's an easy craft that you could do at home and make your own musical instrument. And because we're talking about harps today, I thought it'd be fun to show you how to make your very own musical instrument, harp. You only need a couple of things. Let's see, oh, I think we're gonna need some elastic bands. <laughs> we are going to need a marker. We will also use some of these colorful popsicle sticks, or you could just use some plain wooden ones. And we're also gonna need something to glue them all together. For today's craft, the best kind of glue to use would be some hot glue, because it sticks very, very well, and it's very, very strong. But anytime you're using hot glue, make sure a grown-up, a mommy, a daddy, an ima, an abba, or an older sibling help you to use the hot glue, because it could be very hot, and it could be very dangerous. So make sure you have someone helping you. The first thing we're gonna be doing is making the shape of our heart. I'd like to choose two colors to use. I think I'm gonna use two purples and two yellow popsicle sticks. And what I'm gonna do is create our shape of our popsicle stick, two going sideways horizontally, and two of them going vertically, up and down. I'm just gonna position them just like that to make sure it's nice and straight. Then I'm gonna take some of my glue. This is a hot glue gun, so always be careful. And put a little bit of glue on that side there and get this one glued on kind of the spot that I'd like and do the same thing for this side put a little bit of hot glue and get the other side positioned as well there we go now I need to get the last the bottom part so I'm gonna put some hot glue on there and on this side of the part of the stick and I'm gonna glue the other ends of our yellow popsicle stick to the bottom of our heart so there we go so now we have a nice harp shape. See that? Pretty good. All right. The next thing we're gonna be doing is making sure our hot glue gun is put aside that we don't by accident touch it. The next thing we're gonna do is we can decorate our harp. What I like to do is add some fun little designs on the top, sort of like a little S shape that way, and a little S shape that way, a little S shape that way, and a little S shape that way just to make it look kind of fun. And I have another thing that we could use. I have some of these Torah stickers. <laughs> now, David HaMelech, King David, did not write the Torah. Of course not. That was Hashem together with Moshe. But I like to put some Torah stickers on here just to make them extra nice and to make an extra design. You can add your own kinds of stickers. I just thought it would look kind of pretty, and it sure does. Look at that. Lastly, we're going to need our strings. I have here four different colors, but you could use any kind of color of elastic band. We're going to put our elastic band over the top and over the bottom of the sideways of the horizontal sideways popsicle sticks. One right there. Put another one on. Mm -hmm. Next to the first one, push it down. There we go. Next I think I'll do blue. 
blue next to yellow always looks nice. Mm -hmm. And lastly, our purple one, I mean our pink one, can go there too. Mm, yeah, that's right. And there we go, our musical harp. <laughs> and you can play that harp now. This is just a pretend craft musical instrument, but if you listen carefully, you could still hear some of the sounds of the elastic band strings. <laughs> there you go. That is a very fun musical instrument harp that you could make with your own home materials. But looking at it now, it's a little bit small for Kugel. I think Kugel is going to want to play something bigger. I have a drum set. I think Kugel would like to play the drums. We'll have Devora on the harp. And Rabbi B, you guessed it, I'll be playing the guitar. All right, we're ready for our musical band. Rabbi B has a band. <laughs> I'll see you at the music room. See you soon. Well, all right, the Rabbi B band is ready to play. Are you ready, Devora? All right, what about you, Kugel? I am ready, Rabbi B. Fantastic. And I'm ready too, so let's play a song with the Rabbi B Band. Hit it, Kugel! Well, Rabbi B had a band, E-I-E-I-O. And in this band there were some friends, E-I-E-I-O. Well, in this band there was Devorah, E-I-E-I-O. Playing on the harp all day long. There was Kugel, E-I-E-I-O Playing on the drums all day long Playing my favorite song Rabbi B had a band E-I-E-I-O Well, Rabbi B had a band E-I-E-I-O And in this band there was Rabbi B E-I-E-I-O Playing on guitar day long, playing my favorite song, Rabbi B had a band, E-I-E-I-O. Well, I have one more idea, guys. Here we go. Well, Rabbi B had a band, E-I-E-I-O. And in this band there was everybody, E-I-O. When we play together all day long, we're playing my favorite song, Rabbi B. band and it was the greatest in the land well done <laughs> great job Devora. great job Kugel I hope you played along too well making music is so much fun and music can be made by anyone but oh I think I hear Kugel's alarm <laughs> okay Kugel I think that means it's time to say shalom and goodbye. So for now, it's bye-bye from Kugel the Robot. Bye-bye, everybody. Devorah the Bee. And me, Rabbi Bee. Shalom. Rabbi B loves hearing from fans. Please send any fan mail, drawings, or questions to rabbibmusic at gmail.com. Toe, 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 toe,
Chovirá.